Okay, I'm back again with another video showing you how to repair a laptop AC adapter. But this video is a little bit different from the one I showed you last time. Last time I was working with my old Dell Inspiron 2200, um, which basically had no power at all. Basically the battery cells had died and the AC adapter was bad. So it was just a paperweight. Um, I showed you how to repair the, the AC adapter on that, which happened to be connected to the motherboard. Um, that was a little bit more of a difficult repair because uh, you had a confined space in between um, different components on the motherboard that you were running into while you were trying to solder. And you actually had to remove all the components of the computer uh, to extract the motherboard, which was a little bit more difficult to do than what we're going to be doing today. Um, today we're working with my 7-year-old HP ZE2000. Uh, basically it has similar problems. The AC adapter is going bad. Um, for some reason, even though it's seven years old, the battery still works in it. I'm surprised at that. Um, but like I said, um, the AC adapter, it's a little bit easier to repair on this, but I mean it had a lot more damage than that deal. Basically this one completely stopped working, but before it did it would get very hot. Uh, when it was shorting out, sort of melted the plastic around here. Honestly surprised it didn't catch on fire. Um, now I did go ahead and take a look at this before I started this video. Um, took it apart already. And basically the problem is that the stem at the back has a connection to an actual circuit on that little intermediate connection in between the motherboard and where you plug in this cord. Um, now that has come loose and also the actual frame for this is a plastic square and like I said this is getting so hot it melted so the stem sort of slipped out of place there and also at the motherboard where it lost a little bit of solder it wasn't making metal to metal contact. Only thing I'm going to do today is solder the stem back in place so that it's nice and straight doesn't move around when you plug it in and also make sure that the stem is connected completely to the metal contact at the base of the AC connector so that it will constantly keep power connected no matter which way you move the cord or if you move the laptop around so let me get right into that okay here's your AC connector for the ZE2000 um, like I said this it works off an intermediate connection um, basically there's your side that you plug in your power cord to um, and basically there's the part, the receiving end from your motherboard. Um, after removing the two screws, basically it just slides out. And as you can see, it actually is a separate AC connector to connect to the motherboard. Um, don't ever try to plug your AC cord directly into this, simply because I guess there's some sort of, um, difference in voltage on this one uh, that's why I don't know if it's either increasing or decreasing the voltage before it gets to the motherboard but basically this is here for a reason to protect the motherboard don't plug it into there because you're gonna end up frying something um, actually I did have to remove the optical drive and a couple of screws off the top plate to get to the uh, bottom case because it was holding part of the top case, uh, part of the bottom case down from the top case I mean and basically after removing those screws I was able to get to this connector uh, let me turn on my camera light here give you a better shot um, here's the AC connector that's usually where it goes bad if I can get it focused here you can see I did a little patchwork uh, this specific connector is the one for the stem at the back. That's usually what goes bad. When this connector gets hot, uh, the plastic holding the stem in place basically melts. And when you plug in your cord, this moves back and you're not getting the right type of connector. Okay, here's the finished product. Um, it's not pretty, but definitely works. Um, basically what you want to do is make sure the stem has no room to move backwards and forward uh, so I put a giant glob of solder on the back of the stem also all the way down to the connection to the motherboard 
um, for the stem, which was the problem with this AC adapter. Um, I also made sure to put a little bit overlapping on each one of the corners so the stem is securely in the center as it should have been from the factory before it was wiggling all out of place. Um, it's not pretty like I said, but if you don't want to go through the trouble of doing this, you can go ahead and body part. The part number, for those of you who don't have this number, is right here. Hopefully you can see that. C CD3B33CT2PB0004. Um, there's 88. I don't know what those numbers mean simply because I decided to do this myself rather than buy the AC adapter. But I'm just going to plug it in and test it. Actually, let me flip it back over first. Now, you don't need the hard drive or anything in just to test it. I mean, it's fairly simple. You just press the power button and make sure it comes on. Make sure your battery's not in because you want to make sure that the thing is actually working. Press the power button right here. Whoops, that's a screw, not a power button. So you can see the power light comes on. HP, yes, it's reading error messages because the hard drive or nothing is in there. As you see, I'm shaking it. Uh, there's no battery in here. I'm moving it all around and it works. Um, let me go ahead and get the computer back together. Uh, but first, before I do that, um, this would be a great opportunity to um, take a can of compressed air, go around, clean out all the dust from your motherboard. Um, just hold your finger against the fan so it doesn't overspin and damage itself um, when you're cleaning out the dust from that. Also, it's a good idea um, to take the heat sink off of the processor and video card. Check to make sure that the thermal paste on both of those is still in relatively good condition. In my case, the thermal paste on the video card was in relatively good condition. There was hardly any thermal paste on the processor and it was pretty cruddy and dried out. So I went ahead to see if I can find it. Oops. Got some high performance thermal compound. Uh, basically, it's not the best you can get. The best is probably uh, that acrylic silver stuff, but it's pretty expensive. I just got the basic $2 stuff. Works good anyway. Helps your processor to stay a little bit cooler. Last, make your computer last a little bit longer. So, um, with that, let me get everything back together. Um, and I'll just show you the finished product. Sorry, I showed you. My sloppy work did work. Uh, I asked it my sloppy work in my old Dell over there. Um, but let me go ahead and get it back together and then I'll show you the final product. Okay, I've gotten everything back together. Um, nothing's out of place or anything. Everything works. The speakers, the keys, the ports. Um, AC adapter, fine. It's not getting hot or anything. There's no weird smoke or any smell or anything. Everything generally is working great. Um, it was a pretty easy repair to do. Um, it took me about 25 minutes to take it apart, put it back together. And I just took a couple of hours to let it run to make sure that everything was working correctly. I updated the computer. Um, since it was sitting in my closet for a year, I had to install Service Pack 3. Um, just a couple of other things, virus protection, everything, but generally just make sure everything works. Your optical drive, make sure that works. Put a CD in there. Um, I mean, it's, it's a pretty easy repair to do. Um, if you have any questions or want to make any comments, just leave them at the bottom. If you want to see videos like this and more on my page, you can click the subscribe button um, to get automatic updates. And if you want to check out some more of my videos um, just click on the name and you'll be able to check those out